we want to use mathematical induction to prove that n squared is less than two to the power of n for all integers n greater than or equal to five. Let's begin by discussing the argument. What happens when we increase n by one? On the left side, where we have the n squared, we increase the base of the square and go to the next square number. On the right side, where we have two to the power of n, we increase the power of two. This means we double the number. So the question is, how does doubling a number relate to increasing to the next square? Think about the difference of two consecutive square numbers. If we consider the square of n plus one minus n squared, and factor this as a difference of squares, we have the quantity n plus one minus n times the quantity n plus one plus n. Simplifying, the first factor simplifies to one, the second factor simplifies to two n plus one, giving us a difference of two n plus one. But doubling the right side increases it by two to the power of n, since two to the power of n plus one equals two to the power of n plus two to the power of n. For more details on this equation, two to the power of n plus one is equal to two times two to the power of n, which we can write as two to the power of n plus two to the power of n. When n is large enough, two to the power of n is greater than two n plus one. What we are saying here is that each time n increases, the left-hand side grows by less than the right-hand side. So if the left side starts smaller, as it does when n equals five, it will never catch up. And now let's look at the formal proof. To begin, let p of n be the statement n squared is less than two to the power of n. We will prove p of n is true for all integers n greater than or equal to five. We first consider the base case, which is p of five. p of five is the statement five squared equals two to the fifth. And since five squared equals 25, and two to the fifth equals 32, since 25 is less than 32, p of five is true. And now for the inductive case, we let k be greater than or equal to five, be an arbitrary integer, and we assume for induction that p of k is true, meaning we assume k squared is less than two to the power of k. We need to prove that p of the quantity k plus one is true, meaning we need to prove that the square of k plus one is less than two to the power of k plus one. To prove such an inequality, we start with the left-hand side and work towards the right side. The square of the quantity k plus one is equal to two factors of k plus one, which if we multiply out is equal to k squared plus two k plus one. From here we'll perform a substitution using the inequality k squared is less than two to the power of k, which means that we substitute two to the power of k for k squared. K squared plus two k plus one is less than two to the power of k plus two k plus one. From here we'll perform another substitution where since two k plus one is less than two to the power of k for k greater than or equal to five, if we substitute two to the power of k for two k plus one, two to the power of k plus two k plus one is less than two to the power of k plus two to the power of k. From here, two to the power of k plus two to the power of k is equal to two times two to the power of k, or two raised to the power of k plus one. Following the equalities and inequalities through, we get the square of the quantity k plus one is less than two to the power of k plus one. In other words, p of the quantity k plus one is true. Looking at our work again above, if the square of the quantity k plus one is equal to k squared plus two k plus one, which is less than two to the power of k plus two k plus one, which is less than two to the power of k plus two to the power of k, which is equal to two to the power of k plus one, we can conclude the square of the quantity k plus one is less than two to the power of k plus one. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, p of n is true for all n greater than or equal to five. I hope you found this helpful.